Sonia, let me see the nail clippers. So this is, Sonia, let me see the nail clippers. <laughs> I start recording and it's chaos. So this is Pepito and we're going to be trimming his nails. Thankfully, um, I'm wearing my glasses because the sun is like right inside, like right in my face. Um, thankfully he has clear nails, so it's super easy to see what we need to cut. And you can see right here that the quick is that pink spot there. So the quick means where um, the blood vessel ends. So it ends like right there, if you can see. And then all this clear clearness here that doesn't have pink, that's what you're going to want to snip off. So a lot of dogs, what happens is if you hit the quick, they panic and it hurts, obviously. It's just like us ripping our nail off all the way to the, you know, inside where we're bleeding and it hurts. Um, so it's the same experience for them as well. They feel pain. And then nail trims are just a disaster <laughs> and chaos after that. Um, they end up with like PTSD, I guess. Um, so anyways, I'm just going to show you how to trim nails it's super easy because his like i said his <laughs> song is over here cuddling with him his click uh, i mean not his click but his nail is clear so i can see what i'm cutting um he's not a big fan of it like even though i've never i've never like hit his click because i can easily do it because i can see what i'm doing but with darker nails it is much more difficult but i can say if you get them used he flinches anyways i'm not like you know hurting him he just i mean this is just an instinct for them he's okay they just do this um, because it's just annoying and they don't want you touching their feet. But if you start this at a young age, um, they will get used to it. Oh, you did get it. Thank you. They'll get used to it. They'll get used to you touching. <laughs> they'll get used to you touching their feet and the routine of trimming their nails monthly. I I do his nails at least monthly, um, if not sooner. And this helps also because if you wait too long to trim their nails. You're okay. He's he's not getting hurt. Trust me. He's just look. There's no blood. <laughs> he's just he's just flinchy. Even though I've done this like I do this like every month and I've done this since the beginning. Uh, he's still a little flinchy. But you have to be um and obviously it feels weird, weird on their nails. You have to be determined and you have to be stern and you have to say you know this is getting done whether you like it or not. Um you are okay and you want them to trust you. You know what I mean? So that's why I encourage you doing this at a young age, doing it frequently because once you lose that trust, like let's say you mess up. And you hit the quick and, and it's painful i mean you just totally lose their trust you know um they're like you don't know what you're doing <laughs> let's get a professional in um but anyways I, I love doing this and um it helps also um for health reasons it does help with their bones and their joints and their feet especially as they get older um older dogs with long nails it's really hard on their joints because they're like basically standing like this and so it causes a lot of pain um versus when their nails are trimmed they can settle their their feet a little better but when they have those long nails their toes tend to like curl upward and it just causes a lot of tension pain um so with older dogs we really um encourage routine nail trims for their comfort level happened, nothing happened i just trimmed his front paws and we're going to move on to the back and so um i mean sometimes it's like some, it's your turn well, no not quite yet i have to show you how to do it um here let me show you so so we're working on his back legs You're okay. The noise, <laughs> the noise, like, you know, the noise and the pressure, it's okay. And it's not helping that I'm recording this. You know, normally I'm, I don't talk and I'm silent and I'm, like, kind of zinning him out so he's not stressed out. But I'm, like, making a video of it so he's a little more stressed. But he's normally, like, not distressed. So, yeah. There we go. I'll give you a close look up of how they look. You can see the clicks there. I did not hit any of the clicks on his feet. So, yeah. I hope this helps.